so hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be going through like a lot of my crochet creations and basically just taking you through each piece because i feel like every crochet work or like every project that you do there's always a story behind it or there's like something significant about everything that you make or yeah i like to think that so i'm just gonna be taking you through a lot of the stuff that i've made and like my thought process behind it and like oh my god here's this story with this piece so a lot of these pieces i like these aren't all things i just made all at once obviously this is like kind of a the collection i have accumulated from all my like months of crochet i hope you guys enjoy and we'll get right to it the very first top that i've made is this mm, okay i'm gonna have a picture like right here i don't know if you can tell but literally like it's not even it's not the best one part is longer than the other and i think i added like one too many stitches in one part this is very rewarding. I remember this took me like nine hours to make and I was like really flexing it on like my private story with like my friends and like my close friends. I was like, I'm so proud of it. It looks so good. But then like looking at it now, I'm like, it was okay. I mean, not bad for me being a beginner at the time. And this is the very first stop I made. Then I actually made this with like cotton acrylic. Before, like when I started crocheting, I would always go for the cheapest option. But then I also realized like, that shouldn't be the case. Next stop I made this baby i'm so proud of this oh my goodness okay i was trying to make the harry styles cardigan of course the infamous harry styles cardigan and me at as a beginner was like oh my god this is so easy i'll just make squares and like put it together so this is the outcome of that so basically i looked for like tutorials and i realized i was doing everything wrong and I didn't even search how to make a cardigan before I tried to make the Harry Styles cardigan. So that was dumb of me. That was my fault. And I realized I would have had to restart everything. And I decided to just make a top out of it. And I'm actually pretty happy with this because like all the colors are there. The stitches. It's still very like when you see it, you're like, oh, this is the pattern of the Harry Styles cardigan. But make it like a top. Yeah, me as a beginner, you can see it's not the cleanest. This top, I was very proud of this one also. But then it's like a backless thing that you just tie with these at the back. And hello, the color is like chef's kiss. Literally, I am in love with this chocolate brown one. And this is super simple. This is just like single crochets. And then I added this effect. So the next, I think also like everyone has tried to make something like this. And it is... This adorable sweater vest is from Emma P's pattern on YouTube. So this is her um, sweater vest pattern. And I was so proud personally of the color. So I love the pink and the green and the blue. Like I felt like they worked really well together. And it really looked like a kiddie Easter egg sweater vest. Like that is so adorable. And then yeah, I'm sorry. If you do see these, like it's so messy. But then I did not know. Like I cut it so short. I was like, what was I thinking? Literally look at that or something. That's not nice. That's not nice. I don't know why it took me so long to explain this in the video, but what I basically wanted to say was that that white piece that you see is actually a part of a bigger project that I didn't need to use anymore. So I was left with this piece that I wanted to turn into something else, which ended up being that bikini top. This rectangular thing, I tied, I like scrunched up the middle and then I tied it, made a corset back for this one. And also, I don't know why, but the corset back looks so whack. Like, it's so messy. I think it's a beginner thing. Like, at the time, I didn't know, I really didn't know what I was doing with this. But then, like, it looked funky and weird. Like, really weird. So, the next top we have, I think you can tell, I have, like, a type with tops in the next few that I'm gonna show. I also have this. So, this is my green tone checkered, like, it, it looks confusing when you see it. But basically, like... So you wear it like that, and then you tie it at the sides here with this, with these two. It is a minus, a thumbs down for execution-wise, because literally, I did not carry the yarn over properly. Like, there's a lot of messy details that I wish I fixed. And like, there's a lot of little loose bumps that just make it look really messy. And here, I th these are chains, right? Like, you see these, these are chains. I did not fix that well enough, so like, in all four sides, there's this little, little piece sticking out, and I did not fix that. And I think that was like me being tamad, which is bad. But yeah, so I probably would remake this, but make it like look a lot cleaner and a lot better. Going hand in hand with the green top, 
idea was there, execution was not. I love the idea of just this like asymmetrical, like it would go up on one side and it was a full back top and everything. There are three different shades going on and my eyes are getting so confused. This is the top that I experimented mixing milk cotton and Monaco like mercerized cotton yarn or basically the really thin one. So I was pretty proud of that because I was like wow they work really well. They add this super cool effect because in fairness if you see the effect it looks very um textured very detailed i should have just like stopped if i didn't have any more of the acrylic of the thin yarn because now it just looks funny that there's a strip of white this is a favorite of mine so this has an open back and then like i love the, the squares that i made because as you can see it's so checkered it's very detailed and i was very proud of it like it's not like this is actually one of my cleaner tops like minus the like chain you can see that there's so many loose parts i really made things harder for myself before because i didn't really know how to crochet efficiently but now i think i know how to do that a little bit and i'm very happy with like i know how to make this now without putting as much time into it because like i would choose techniques to make stuff that were like so labor intensive that i think it took up so much of my time so it felt like it, it took me so much longer to make certain pieces but uh, yeah that's what i learned from this top but literally i love i call these my um color tone bucket hats it's all different shades of like pink and purple and i was so proud of this because i was like i had around a few inches of yarn left and i was like what am i gonna do with this so that's how i made it into this into a very cute bucket hat so i love making these i think bucket hats are my favorite thing to make or like when people ask me to commission something i'm like oh my god bucket hat you want i got you girl and i also find it really easy to play around with like um bucket hats because you can really change it up adding details like small details can make a bucket hat look so much cuter this bag is my baby this bag is my baby so i have brought this with me to so many places this is the perfect bag for like you need to just have a few things and you don't want to bring a big ass bag this is the bag that you bring i can fit here my phone my passport my id my vaccination card um like my charger my airpods i'm gonna be making a pattern for this yeah i'm in the process of making it right now and i'm gonna be selling the pattern for really cheap because this is a really easy bag but i really wanted to make a pattern for it because a lot of people were asking like tutorials i was like oh i'll just make a pattern for it and this is a perfect way to end my little crochet haul slash haul creation all of these took me a lot of time and i'm very happy like it, this is so fun for me like being able to go through everything i've been able to make you know you keep crocheting and then you don't realize like your progress i feel like a lot of times you're just like oh i can make this now but it's so fun having like keeping all my old pieces because like you know you can see the progress that i got where you came from and like oh this is where i started i sucked at this before but now i know how to do it for those living in the philippines i'm gonna be selling a few of these on my instagram so i'll probably have a highlight for it but if you are interested you can message me on instagram so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time here are all my social media accounts like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye